Hey everyone and welcome to Weight Loss Wednesday. I'm Chef AJ, the author of Unprocessed, The Secrets to Ultimate Weight Loss and Own Your Health and this is where I show you recipes for healthy, permanent and sustainable weight loss. But first I have to show you this amazing apron that was designed for me by the very talented Vicki Garnier. It's me and my superhero dog, Bailey. Thank you so much. This is the most beautiful apron I've ever had. I really appreciate it. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make strawberry salsa. You know, salsa just means sauce and anything can be salsa. People think of salsa generally as tomato-based. Tomato is a fruit and that's a very popular salsa, but you can have mango salsa, papaya salsa, pineapple salsa, I've made them all. Uh, today I'm gonna to make strawberry salsa because strawberries are fresh and in season now and they're delicious. And it's a great thing to do, especially if they, you know, your fruit starts to go bad, maybe get soft a little bit. And it's just really fun because people love to dip things. Any fruit pretty much can be salsa, but strawberries are just amazing. And so I am starting with three cups of strawberries. Of course, I take the stems off and I cut these in my Vidalia Chop Wizard. I'm gonna show you how to use that in a second for the onion. So I'm gonna add my strawberries. And salsa is traditionally cilantro. A lot of people don't like cilantro, I like it, but if I'm cooking for people, I just generally don't use it because so many people have that gene where it tastes like soap. But there's other herbs that are amazing in salsas. For example, parsley, basil, fantastic with strawberry, but I'm gonna use my favorite herb, which is fresh mint. And I use these really cool little herb scissors to get these little fine chiffonade cups. So this was about three cups of strawberry and about a half a cup of mint. The truth is, is that's why it takes me so long to write books because I never measure. I just kind of cook instinctively or intuitively. And then I have a quarter cup, which is also four tablespoons of lime juice. I'm just gonna mix that up a little bit. And again, it could be, you could use less, it could be to taste. Now, if for some reason, uh, your strawberries are not ripe. You know, instead of adding sugar, one of the best things you can do in here is to just add a tablespoon or two of California balsamic strawberry balsamic vinegar. They make amazing SOS free vinegars and this would be great instead of the lime juice, especially if you want it super sweet. So we have that as a backup. And then I'm gonna add some onion. I love this machine, the Vidalia Chop Wizard, because it comes with two different sized blades and it makes everything perfect. And I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of onion. And again, make the recipes your own. Add as much or as little as you like. Now, if you want it spicy, add a jalapeno pepper or a half a jalapeno if you were making it for kids, probably not. And then I'll just put it in my bowl. And these strawberries will get softer as they marinate in the lime juice or the California balsamic vinegar, whichever you choose, it will macerate them. And a great pairing would be the cinnamon crisps I showed you how to make last week. So you have a very easy, delicious, simple strawberry salsa. Thanks so much for watching another episode of Weight Loss Wednesday. I'm Chef AJ and I truly believe you can have both the health and the body that you so richly deserve. Take care.